so when you when you think you found the correct uh, solution and uh, send it back to the node that's a uh, share that... um well maybe, 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 maybe you can it, tell more about mining share a, a, a little what's a mining a share a little bit more than that um well most mining shares actually are kind of uh, useless when it comes to the perspective of creating a block. Mining share is something, um, yeah, when, when you have a solution that is already good, but uh, not really good enough. Yeah, when, when the, um, this is kind of made, um, and the, the key word here is, is, is a difficulty. Each blockchain has a certain difficulty set that allows you, okay, when you found a solution hitting that difficulty or better, uh, then you're allowed to attach the next block to the chain. Yeah. And, um, well, who am I explaining that? You know that as well as me, but uh, well, for the audience. Yeah, yeah it's, and, it's um, for our users, well, of for, course. For a mining pool, a mining pool now decides, hmm, it's not enough for me just to find the blocks. Yeah, then you could also do some uh, solo mining. Instead, they need somehow to measure, okay, how much uh, or how fast are the connected clients? Yeah, just because uh, they somehow need to uh, fairly share uh, the block rewards afterwards, and that is done by the speed the miners actually provide. So what they do is they don't send the miners uh, the difficulty to create a new block uh, because, well, that will be far too high and most clients never would actually find one. Instead, they, they're sending kind of a, yeah, lower difficulty. And so a share is something already matching this lower difficulty. So the mining pools can estimate the speed of your software, uh, of, of your mining rig, uh, by the rate they're getting those low difficulty shares. Uh, translating to our Lego bricks uh, robot, it would be a kind of solution. Okay, we've got the first half square meter on the one side cleaned up, but uh, it's not completed yet. It's not as much as we need it. Yeah, and then taking a photo of that and sending it to grandma. Well, we started. <laughs> That's a share. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe it's it's worth noting that, uh, as far as I know, shares are um, the price of the share. I mean, the, how much you get paid per share is uh, is dependent on the difficulty of the share. So, uh, a share uh, with higher difficulty will be worth more than a share with lower difficulty. Um, yeah, that's uh, quite quite connected to the difficulty the pool sends. Uh, the, the pool is interested in getting a good record about how fast the miner actually is. So uh, of course it can send uh, different difficulties to different miners and then uh, putting some weight on them. Uh, kind of balancing the, the rate they're getting shares, um, the network traffic they want to have um, with the accuracy of, uh, of the measurement, yeah. As the more shares you got, the the more accurate um, the uh, the measurement will be. You could set the on the, on the pool side. On the pool side. That's yeah. why on on the pool side the hash rate like jumps up and down. Exactly. It's not very stable. Well, and when when you when you're a home miner with just one or two GPUs, well, then obviously uh, you need a lower difficulty uh, to set the same amount of shares as someone running a big farm with three or four giga hash yeah that's kind yeah. of the, the the peak some people have at home or the really large farms that, that go into the um tens to one hundreds of giga hash scale yeah they are obviously uh, running at a much higher difficulty uh, well just because let's say having one share every 15 to 20 seconds is perfectly fine for the pool yeah that's more than enough to to get a good picture of what's going on on the other side. 